What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Napoleon Total War Darth Maud playing as Kingdom of Italy. And last episode, we had just beaten this Austrian army here. And I was taking a look around and noticed we are basically sealed off. The um, Ottomans have come up here and grabbed Croatia from the Austrians. The Austrians are and the uh, Ottomans are at war. And so it basically seals off my border here. Um... I am not at war with the Ottomans, but the problem is Austria, I believe through Vienna's territory can still reach me over here. Uh, yeah, it looks like they still have access to this port. So damn, we do have to keep something in Venice, but I was thinking now that uh, we're sort of free from that, I could take this army over here. The first thing I'm going to do is kick out that navy like that and then put him back over here. Um, I don't know if that will cause them to leave or stay, but uh, I want to free up that port if I can. And then what I could do is eventually march over this way, take care of the Austrians um, because now... Wootenberg, who is, I'm at peace with them, but they're also at war uh, with all the same people I'm at war with. They've come up here and taken Tyrol, which sucks for me, but it's sort of good for me because, it, again, it cut the Austrians off. So if I leave my Venetian army up here to seal off that valve, uh, hopefully the French take care of Munich appropriately. Things are still on fire up here, it looks like. Then what I did was I acquired uh, military access through Rome, and we're going to be able to go down to Naples and at least take Naples and maybe Sicily because, yeah, it looks like there's a bridge down here. I, uh, I'm at war with both of them, so why not take the provinces, help my income out, help all my economy out, all of that sort of thing. And then I think at that point we can turn our backs on Papal State and go ahead and take Rome and unite the rest of Italy which I think would be pretty sweet for this campaign. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm interested to see, okay, France has brought down an additional army down here to take out that little Austrian stack, which is nice. Hopefully the Brits don't come down through the middle of France like they did last time and try to attack Milan. That would suck. Okay, so now they're headed down here, and they're going to take up shelter at the gold mine. Swiss are taking some attrition, marching across the Alps. Here's a Batavian fleet. They should be on my side. They are. They're going to go ahead and try to take out that Austrian trade ship, which they did. So now we freed up my ports, which is nice. Um... Sardinia. So then I'm going to take this army. And put you down here like that. They're basically almost healed up. Yeah. Basically a full army there. So we're just going to go do a little hunting. I am making 823. So... I'm just going to go ahead and recruit three militiamen to sit back home in Milan. Okay, go ahead and end the turn. Uh, once we get these armies out of here, we need to repair. We need to. Do, we definitely need to put some money into repairing our provinces. And where's that uh, French army going? He's marching the wrong way. I understand that you need to heal up, but uh, hey, buddy, don't leave me hanging too too bad here. All right, come on, these turns take so long. Almost there. Okay. New militia, of course. So first things first, I'm going to take this army and auto-resolve that. Kill off the rest of those guys. And then I'm going to take you. Oh, he's going to go ahead and retreat. I can still get to him, so I'll try again. 
We'll auto resolve that one victory. They still have a couple of guys left. And that should do it. Yeah. Okay, we killed him off, finally. Okay. What's awesome is this general just moved up to a four star general. He went from a two star to a four star, so he's by far, Maserati is by far my best guy. Um, now what I need to do is sort of repair some of my resources. So we'll repair the university and the gold mine. Oh, just out of money to in order to do that. Well, I think that's all we can do this turn. So we'll go ahead and click the button. More French units uh, moving towards the west, which is interesting. Uh, and they brought another ship back. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take one of those militia units back in Milan and just park him at the docks, and just have him sit there forever. Now, keep in mind, we still do have um, military access to Rome at the moment, so we need to go grab Naples. Go ahead and repair the gold mine while I'm thinking about it. Take one of these guys and put you in there. Open up my harbor again. And then this gentleman here, he's going to work on still healing himself, healing himself up. But I might as well leave him right at the border so we can move down towards Naples. This army should be completely... Hold on, if we go to this... Yeah, I've got plenty of public order there. Plenty of happiness. So that's good. Um, if I go to the army tab... Yeah, they're still... They're still healing up. But that's okay. I've got some useful troops in there. Croatia was able to gain independence, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. From the Ottomans. So now I'm considered at war with them for that. Um, man, it'd be nice if I had enough military units to grab and hold on to that. That would be really nice. Okay. <clears throat> That's all we can do again for this turn. Yeah, that's all I can afford. So we'll hit next. Um... And the good news is we'll be able to continue research, so that's good. Okay, good. This French army is headed back up here towards the front. The Austrians are running for it. Nice. And it does look like the French... I'm looking at the bottom left map here. It looks like the French have... Continue to push further towards Russia. Yeah, they took Prague. Uh, they've had Saxony for a while, but they ended up taking Prague too, so. That's good. That's good news. Oh, Croatia was then taken back by the Ottomans in that last turn. Oh, crap, the vineyards. We need to fix the vineyards, of course. Okay, the university is back online, so that's good. Gold mine is back. Only making 751 per turn. But that's okay. How many more turns until these guys are ready to go? Let's go ahead and move you down just to see what I'm dealing with. Okay, looks like he has two armies. Um, he's got one here across the mountains. I don't think that's a proper mountain pass, is it? Oh, you can get through there. Yeah. And then he's got a full stack sitting in the city as well. Dang it. <laughs> I don't have enough troops.
I definitely don't have enough troops. This guy keeps walking back and forth. I don't know what is wrong with the AI. Keeps walking back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, so that's going to be a pretty tough acquisition, I feel like. So we're going to bring you back up. And maybe send you over this way where you can be more productive. Yeah, because... I don't know, I've got two gold mines though, you would think. I mean, yeah, my tax income's huge, my trade income is huge. Currently trading with Spain, France, and Swiss. How many more trade routes do I have? Long-term trading partners for everybody, so that's good. Hmm. Do I have any other resources that I can upgrade? I don't think so. No repairs required. Yeah, but this thing's on fire. It's required to repair, right? That's got to be a glitch or something. Huh. Maybe I don't have enough money to repair it. I've got 1700 bucks. And, interestingly enough, the uh, Austrians have taken back Tyrol. So we definitely need to roll this guy back up north. Because the Austrians are not finished as far as coming through here yet. And I think that could be the issue, is there's a mountain pass. Is it possible to walk through here? Yes, it is. That's how they're getting over. So an opportunity for us to maybe take Tyrol back? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and end the turn. The French are going to go up there now and try to do it themselves, though. Oh, they've got a full stack. Yikes. Yeah, that's a little scary. Because they just beat that French army, too. Alright. Um, I'm going to bring you back to the road like that. I can upgrade the wineries. But I think I want to up, up, uh, wait to upgrade the university. Yeah. Because that'll at least let me... Oh, interesting. I don't even have full basic roads. Let's build at least the basic roads in Venice. I do have them. Okay. Good news is I do have them in Milan. So that's all I'll build this turn, though. And the turn again. Yeah, you can see the uh, Austrian army is continuing to camp out there in the woods. Okay, looks like he did go back home. Yeah, man, Austria is not leaving that piece alone. The, I think the AI is deciding that's an easier sort of prodding technique rather than coming through Venice? It's probably true. I'm going to go chill in that town. Yeah. Not allow him to use that. That's right, man. You sit there, and you take it. All right. Um, 
I can also upgrade some stuff here in Venice. Uh, this will help my income, the magistrate. Plus 10 bonus to the region tax rate. Go ahead and get that. And I need some tech levels to upgrade the buildings here in Milan even further. Damn, I wanted to save up for the university. I forgot. Oh, I'm so bad about spending the money, man. Here comes an Austrian army. Oh, shoot. In both places. All right, folks. Uh, that's where we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you again next time.